All right, here is the Samsung 990 Pro, the two terabyte PCIe 4 NVMe M.2 SSD. I've had both the 970 and the 980, and I was very happy with them. I did try the SN850X from uh, Western Digital or WD Black, and I didn't have any problems with it, but I didn't test this good speeds, and I decided to come back to Samsung for my desktop build I have upcoming. It's not gonna be a lot to see here. Nothing major here, just the chips are on the front, of course. The bottom side's flat, so this will work fine in a laptop. I'm putting this in desktop, so it really doesn't matter, but some laptops don't like it when you have uh, cards on both sides. This one would be just fine for it. I'm gonna get you installed into my new desktop. It's gonna be exciting. So now we're gonna install our Samsung 990 Pro PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD, two terabyte into the ASRock Z690 Tash keyboard, part of my Razer desktop build. So we're just gonna take the guy out here, of course. Various motherboards to be different. This one has a heat sink built into it. They do sell the 990 Pro with the heat sink pre-attached, but I knew I was getting it for this motherboard. And I knew this one, this is here is the heat sink. It does have this little sticky tape here. So make sure we'll peel this off so we'll get the, the goodness on there. I do need a screw. There is, that did come in the motherboard box, came with it. I guess the Samsung did not come with it. So it came with three separate of these in my motherboard box. So this is my first time building a desktop computer. I have upgraded the SSDs and multiple desktop computers and I've added SSDs to laptops. So this is probably the most comfortable I am with anything of this build. You know, this motherboard has three M.2 slots and this one is M.2 underscore one, which I assume is the priority one. According to Linus, some of them will say on the board if it goes directly to the CPU or not. I don't notice it saying that on there, but it is the closest to the CPU. All right, and so I do have three SSDs to install. I'm gonna install Windows on this as a new build, of course, and it will get a little wonky sometimes if you have multiple drives installed. So I'm gonna install this one drive, set the computer fully up, install Windows, and then I'll take it back apart and add the other two drives, which is gonna be a huge pain on this one because of the GPU is right on top of this guy. But I'm gonna make it work. So again, there's a little slot here that lines up there. I think it's fine to leave that little mush in there. We'll see. So that slots right in. Yeah, I mean, that's just a perfect fit there. We got our screw. Screw it. Looking good. And this hole goes towards this side for this particular motherboard. These screws don't come out, which is very nice. And then again, we're gonna peel this off and that's just some thermal tape essentially to help with the cooling process. All right, got them on there. You know, this is a scenario where having large hands is kind of a disadvantage, right? I'm a large guy. My buddy Tony is a great guy, but physically small person. Oh, no. I'm 6'1", 250, uh, 240. Really? Uh, diet, thank you. He's probably, I don't know, 5'8", but he has very small hands. So he's always talking about building the computers. So it's probably easier for him, but like I have a hard time, especially when this is gonna be in the case, I'm gonna have a hard time, but probably if you have smaller hands, it's probably a lot easier. Help! Yeah. Oh. Take my hand. No, give me your other hand. Oh, my other hand isn't strong enough. You take my little hand. No, get it away from me. Break it. All right, so there's our SSD installed. Well, I guess we can do some drive test. Crystal disk mark. Yeah, I mean, nothing's installed at the moment, so this should get our best test. All right, so of course our C drive is the Samsung 990 Pro. So let's start a test on that. And there's very little, I am recording it, so I could, in theory, impact it a little bit. Probably not too much. 7,000 read speed, very good. All right, so that seems to be working good. All right, and now let's change it to the G drive, which should be the WD Black. All right, it was still not as fast as the Samsung. And of course, we'll test the Q drive, which is the 970 Pro, which should be a lot slower because it's Gen 3 instead of Gen 4, but we'll see how that runs. <laughs> All right, and there is the Gen 3, so you can see how much faster the Gen 4 is from the Gen 3 and from the 970 Pro to the 990 Pro. Massive leap in performance. All right, there we go.